All right, what up, players? Welcome back to How to Paint a Guardsman, Cadian style, part two. Uh, today we're going to drill the hole in the uh, flamer, and we're going to finish our model. So I don't even know what size bit this is, but it looks like the end is all filed down. All right, it's raining. Dogs are barking, and my drill is all filed down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go gorilla style. Take this X-Acto knife, press it in, and just apply a little bit of pressure and jimmy it back and forth until there's a there's a little hole. Don't worry folks, I'm a professional. And if you're not used to doing this kind of drilling out work, definitely get a pin vise because I think that drill bit head I've had for forever. And uh, even this X-Acto knife, I should change the blade. Um, oh my gosh, if I cut myself. Call an ambulance. <clears throat> That'd be fine, I'm just kind of jimming it around in there. Not really pressing too hard, just enough to get in there and start creating a little bit of a groove. And you don't even need to have that much, you know, just something to give it <coughs> give it some shape. So now that that is done, I'm gonna find my chaos black and color in the center. in the center with chaos black and now I'm gonna just clean up around the hole where some of the gold paint chipped off. Or bronze paint, I'm sorry. Okay, so the colors you're gonna need is are colors you're going to need. Camel green. Um, where is my Katachan green? And good old Badaba Black. Badaba Black. Starting with Kadian, or Camel green, sorry. Gonna get just a little a little bit of it on the tip of your brush and then we're going to start painting up the highlights. Shh. It's rainy season here in Hawaii. So that means flash flood warnings on like all the islands. non-stop rainfall this is not a good time to be a tourist because all the beaches are overcast if not completely rained out it's just really bad time to be visiting the islands if you're looking for a vacation destination Last night, this thunderclap woke me up. 3.30 in the morning. Loudest clap of thunder I had heard in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> 
So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm picking up the picking up the hard edges with this camel green. I find that camel green has got that bright yellowish tinge to it that really makes the Cadian green armor pop when applied correctly. And if you catch yourself making a mistake, just go back over with catechin green. No one will tell, no one's gonna know the difference. Yeah, crazy. I hate flood season. Flash flood warnings every day. It's just insane how much it is, how how wet it gets here. Oop. Moving you guys away from the action. I'll pull it out a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing. That's what she said. Hey -o. Yeah, so I dropped off my uh, my venom and the witch squads today, the 20 man witch unit. And my client was super pleased, which is awesome. Because, um, you know, it's good quality. The guy across the table said it looked really good from across the table. So, I'm going to take that as a compliment. Because I could, you know, be a douchebag and be like, Wait, what do you mean from across the table? I think it looks good up close. Uh, hey, hey. Don't you come over here and say that to my face? Talking about across the table. I'm gonna just take it that um, you know that it looked good from from where he was sitting. So that's cool, right? I'm gonna say yes. That's cool. My poor ego. My poor Igor. I left him at the hobby store. I know Igor. I'm sorry, but I'm filming now. I have to hang up. No, don't hang up. Beep. How am I going to get home? It's raining really hard. Igor, I hung up on you. How are you still talking? Gotta go. Click. And scene. I think uh, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm just going to do the best that I can with my camel green and I'm going to fix up any mistakes uh, in the break because I seem to be making quite a few mistakes at this point. Oh, I'm so stoked, Mass Effect 3. I'm so stoked. To give you an idea of how um, how out of the loop I've been in video games, I um, 
I, for some reason, I lost track of time and totally forgot that tomorrow, March 6th, is the launch date for the new Mass Effect game. I totally forgot. And it's one of my favorite series of all times. In fact, I like it so much that I think subliminally, subliminally, I was painting this guy because the uh, cream on khaki color scheme reminded me of some of the armor that the mercenaries wear in Mass Effect 2. Yeah, Eclipse for the Blue Suns mercenaries. That would make a pretty cool kind of skirmish game if they ever did that. You know what? You know what that game is missing? Seriously, uh, some kind of like battle fleet gothic ship to ship battle system. That would be so flippin' awesome. All right, I'm. Just about done. Do this one nice shoulder pad. Basic principles go across the board for like the flamer, the uh, rifleman, weapons, anything that has a Cadian green kind of color base coat to it. Just highlight it up with this camel green to your liking. Oops, sorry about that. My video cut out. Um, 12 minutes. Gotta, gotta figure out how to better keep track of my time. So I also did the camel green on this guy. So as you can see, it is pretty bright when you get the highlights on all the fine edges the green highlights. So what we do now is we take our bad at black and we tone it down as little or as much as you want. Heck, you don't even have to tone it down at all. If you're totally fine with it looking like this, then go ahead and leave it. But as uh, someone who likes things a little bit darker, I'm going to just uh, paint the bad at black onto the highlights and tone everything down. Have to tone it down a little, bring it down, bring it down a notch. And you don't have to do it straight, you could water it down. Um, you could start it in the recesses and pull it out to the um, to the surface flat areas. I think if anything, for me, what I like is not seeing that the highlight was the last thing. So that's what the wash does. If I didn't wash, then I would be able to tell that the camel green was the last thing that was done on it because it would have a very freshly painted last thing to go on kind of look. So the bat of black just kind of dulls, dulls it all down, makes it just a little bit more bearable. And if it's still too dark, or too bright, then nothing's stopping me from going back in with a little bit of catechin green and washing it one more time. Here's the flamer guy. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just fixing to dull down those highlights. talking with some of the guys at the club how awesome it would be if GW came out with a plastic like Fall Hollands kit, plastic Mordian kit, like all the Imperial Guard that don't have plastics yet. They seem to really love Kadia because of the you know um, autonomy and the just mass produced look they have and catechins, which just seem, at this point, just a little bit too Hulk cartoony in my taste. 
So, say that I decided, no, it's too dark, I want to brighten it up a little bit. I will take my catechin green now and just start to bring it back up. And I start with the shoulder pads. And ideally, I would wait until it's dry, but um, I'm not going to do that now. Why? I don't know. So there you get a sense for what color the armor is supposed to be with the highlight. And I think that this is a pretty good, pretty good finish right there. It looks a little bit green, it doesn't look straight like black or dark gray. At the same time it doesn't look too green. There. It's a whole I like it. Let's take a look at our other guy. See how he's drawing. Very good. If anything we add just a little more. The top. And that is really it for the uniform. Really simple. It's meant to be mass produced and repeated effectively without too much trouble or worry, just like the Imperial Guard. there you go I hope you liked this tutorial what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dot the eyes now and actually if you take a look a lot of these guys look like their eyes are just under their brow line their the ridge of their brow and what I've noticed lately also is that James Workshop heavy metal painters are starting to love putting in blue under their light uh, under their eyes so I'm gonna try to do a little bit of the same thing. Where's my Assurman Blue? I can't seem to find my Assurman Blue, but I do have my Ogren Flesh and my Leviathan Purple, which is a great bruised color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the Leviathan Purple and wipe some of it off, and I'm just going to paint it under the eyelids. very baggy, eyed, tired look to them. I don't know if you can see it because the shadow is so crazy, but it's there. Same thing with this guy. A little bit of purple. Now, if you can obviously see the eye color underneath it, then, or the, the eyelids, then you're gonna have to paint some kind of pupil. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, the, it's the end of the world. The Night Lords are attacking. How's that? How is that? How's that for thunder? Was that for thunder? Oh my god. I'm terrified. So I'm taking my chaos black now and I'm just coloring in the eye. My neighbors are screaming because night lords are attacking, it's the end of the world. Yeah, 
There you go. I don't have any Cadian um, transfers. They didn't come with this, uh, with, with these couple models that I got. Um, I got them really cheap from a friend and the transfers didn't come with them. So I'm gonna end it there, but normally you would put like the Cadian gate on one side and the regiment, regiment number on the other side. We do some other things. I'm not gonna base these guys up because uh, I'm terrified for my life because that was the loudest thunder I've heard in a long time. But there you go, my how to paint Cadian Imperial Guard uh, Games Workshop style. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions, feel free to write. And if I'm still alive, then I will answer. Oh no, Igor. Oh, I hope he finds his way to a boat. Oops, I'm gonna have to if not, I'm going to have to find a new manservant. Some, something you might also want to do. Um, yeah, we might as well do it now before we end. I'm going to take a little bit of... Astronomic on gray. And we're just going to really lightly touch up the Aquilas. So I've got three minutes to do this. I've got three Aquilas on both guys. So let's see. Let's see if we can get it done. Oh no, that wash isn't dry yet. So I'm painting, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm painting the skull first. And then then out towards the tips of each wing I hate flood season There, a minute to go, and I made it. So there you go, players. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some inspiration. Uh, really, if you wanted to just stop after the first, after the first uh, video, getting your base coats and initial washes down, there really isn't anything too bad about that. If you really want to highlight up the khaki with the skin, you can just go back over with the basic colors: Camry brown, Talar, and flesh. But I kind of like my guard dirty and gritty. So this is the final result that I came up with. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. There's also other details like the Vox caster. You can paint up dials and knobs and switches and doohickeys. But for a very basic paint job, just to get your guys on the field, I think this is a great way to go. And you could certainly do a lot worse. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go build an arc. And um, I'll see you in 40 days. Latest players.